People, this is Mervyn Myers, your blogger from Alma Grove. I'm using this space, it's not light up as yet, to tell the story of what Christmas means to me. The way I grew up. So it's my reminder of the way I grew up in Jamaica and what Christmas means to me then and what Christmas means to me now in terms of what I'm seeing here in the United Kingdom. Down there is Surrey Square, Walworth Living Room, part of Pembroke House. That's where I meet Mr. Seeley. As a volunteer with Pembroke House, cardboard citizens, knocking on doors on the Aylesbury, learning my craft to where I'm now at, threatened with homelessness by Housing for Women. After my role, after my role with Adrian Jackson and cardboard citizens for crisis. I'm making use of your lovely declaration, hope you don't mind. I'm making use of your lovely declaration, hope you don't mind to tell my story, yeah? All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, see people, I'm very courteous. And that's why nobody's going to make me whiter than white to fit their agenda. Yeah? So yes, I'm going home now. I'm going to cook and get on with the rest of my life. There is no way, no way I will accept what is happening. I have my camera. I have my phone. I have whatever it is to get out on the road and tell stories. Stories about a country that is so fake. A country that is so fake that treats people. It's not about race. It's people that are being treated worse than animals. As I said to Delis Ipton at the House of Commons Nursery on the 27th of March, 2015, if I was an animal at Bird in the Bush, the RSPCA would have rescued me to where I'm at now. Where I'm at now? Yeah? Narin Masera? Devonshire Solicitors, Barrister Monk, Mr. Lewis, Michael Lewis, who sent me a cease and desist. All of you terrorists at Housing for Women, those from the Metropolitan Police that have lied and started out trying to section me from a malicious report by Winsome Duncan. I wrote on Facebook, I was feeling suicidal. Go find out where it was. I'm crossing the road. Yeah. Go find out where that was. ACT Group Impact Report 2016. One in five of all suicides are associated with unemployment. And when I did not come commit that suicide, push, 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 my husband and I are now 600,000 older people in the UK say they leave their homes once a week or less. Yes, Google Maps, where are my 100,000 and 100,000 photographs? Yeah? Harvested my in intellectual property, my copyright, my images. Yeah? That's what's been harvested. LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. My first website created from scratch, now being used by oxy eyes and all that's been happening yeah i remember when the this these houses were constructed and i thought that it was only rich people who live in these places yeah and now when i see great britain as it is it's a shame and a damn disgrace the way human beings are being treated. Yeah? And you have Mayor of London 
putting up a post and excluding people from having their say. Yeah, I'm going home now. Yeah, I will die than accept what has been done to me and my husband. Make sure you see who is talking. It's Mervyn Lee Myers.